Last night, we drove to Puerto Vallarta. We stayed the night in the parking lot of the Chedra Rui, which is what we call, we call this place the Mexican Mexican Walmart. Because just call it a Mexican Walmart, it just means it's a regular Walmart in Mexico. But this Chedra Rui is just like Walmart, but better, and it's Mexican, meaning that it's not a Walmart, but it's just like a Walmart in Mexico. Anyways, we didn't know if we could overnight here last night, but I asked the security, who kind of gave me a blank look, and then nodded, so I took it as a yes. These are huge papayas. Huh? Look how huge they are. Nuevos Hugo de Verduras. You know what that means? Vegetable juice. I've never seen such big pieces of chicharron. It's crazy. Where are you going to put it? It's not that big. That's the hugest bucket ever. I'm gonna put it in my stomach. I used to drink this stuff as a kid. It was like super dirt cheap. And then when this came to the US like a couple years ago, they're trying to treat it as like health food. And they were charging a crazy premium for it. Mexico's got it right. That's how much it's supposed to cost. That's like a dollar fifty for these. See what I mean? By this being the Mexican Mexican Walmart. Bienvenido a Tequila. Why? Why? There's a town where tequila was invented. Alright, we made it to the town of Tequila. That was a pretty long drive, but it was decent. The roads were really good because it was toll. We probably had like six different tolls. Oh, look at a lot of these guys are like just riding motorcycles trying to get people to go. No, no gracias. <laughs> yeah. Man, these guys are really aggressive. Huh? Trying to get you to go to their tequila tasting factory thing. It's not really an easy town to get to. It's about 30 miles from Guadalajara. So I suppose you can fly into Guadalajara and then rent a car and drive over. What? What are we going to do? I don't know, looks like this street's a little wider. Well, we found a place to park, but now we got to go find a place to eat. So this is the town of Tequila in the state of Jalisco. Do you know what they make here? I'll give you a hint. The name of this town is Tequila. They make tequila? Hey, good job. How'd you guess that? High five. Anybody? High five? Ouch. Look at all these tour buses. I guess this is like the super touristy part of town. Mostly Mexicans that come here though. Nobody speaks English here. That's what I've noticed so far. Nobody. Not even a little bit. Well, they know what soda means. So, it's kind of cool. We get to kind of practice our Spanish. And I don't know exactly what else we're gonna do here. Like, we're not gonna do any like tequila tasting or anything, I don't think. But it's a really cool town. You can tell it's old. The streets are narrow. The buildings are old. Giant, like, old church thing right here. Why do they keep ringing right the there. Bells? I didn't hear them ring the bells. Oh, yeah. You hear ring the bell? I guess so. I guess I didn't know what that was. That 
right there, I assume, is some kind of margarita, portable margarita cart. Weird. Mexican hipster. Are you allowed? Doors open. Yeah? How oh, high? Do you see it all the way to the top? Uh, yeah, but I think it keeps spinning and spinning. Let me see. Go up a little bit. Let's go up a couple steps. Keep going. Oh, I'm going to get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go down? I don't, I'm going to get dizzy. Me? Hey, what if it starts it. ringing? <laughs> it just rang. You got like 15 minutes. minutes. All right. It's very dark in here. Oh, there are birds right here. Pigeons. I'll leave you guys alone. Hey, sorry, sorry, you can stay there. I'll leave. That's very steep. All the way down. I made it almost to the top. There are two pigeons hanging out in the middle of the stairs. So I saw one fly. Probably heard me and it flew out. Was it flying from near the top? I got a video of it flying, but I can't show you right now. Oh. Because if I would have kept going, I would have freaked out those two pigeons and they would have like blew in my face or something. <laughs> that would have came tumbling all the way down the stairs. So you're not scared of the goats, so you're scared of the pigeons. No, there's no ghosts. Is there a wedding going on in there? Oh boy. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Come on. Isn't that a cool place to get married? Yeah. Yeah? This place, scary? Maybe a little. We're just running in circles. We may as well keep our streak going. What are, what are your choices right now? Lemon ice cream or lime and popsicle. It's up to you. <coughs> Is everybody getting ice cream now? There we go. Okay. Are you getting tequila? No. You're not getting tequila in the town of tequila? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Strawberry. Strawberry. What are you getting, Mila? I would have been a loud one for you up there. Vaso? Vaso. I can't remember that word. Vaso, vaso. You got lemon? Oh, yeah. So cheap. This ice cream, is it good? Yeah, just as good as any ice cream you've ever had. Eight pesos a scoop. Crazy cheap. And our nice dinner was like, not that expensive either. 
It was like at one of the nice touristy places. We pay like 360 pesos for a whole meal. You get away from places like Saulita. Yeah. So we left the little town of Aquila, which is about God, how many? 30? 25, 30 miles away, maybe. And now we're in the town, not a town, the city, the metropolitan area of Guadalajara. And I believe we're actually in the city limits of Guadalajara. It's a huge town, it's a huge city. The entire metropolitan area has four million people, making it the second biggest metropolitan area in Mexico, just behind Mexico City. But the city itself has one and a half million people, which puts it, I believe, fourth biggest uh, municipality in Mexico. Don't know what second and third is, but I'm pretty certain that number one is Mexico City. This is by far the biggest town we, or biggest city that we've been in in Mexico. The last big town would have been La Paz, which is like a couple hundred thousand people. So this is about eight times the size, not counting the metropolitan region. You know, today is just, it's been a couple of transit days, so things are kind of thrown for a loop. But look at that, Costco food court. Hey, Luca. We'll come get smoothies later, okay? Costco smoothies. One of the reasons why we come here. By the way, I'm not seeing nearly as many people putting mayonnaise and ketchup on their pizza here as they were in the Costco at Cabo San Lucas. Blech. Kale Hello. salad. We love this kale salad. And it's kind of big, I no, guess. I don't. But we eat it. Me and Marlene eat this in two meals. You know? 90 pesos. Which comes out to about five bucks. And that is two meals for two adults for five dollars. That's my hair. Is it cold? It's cold. It's cold in here. It feels good. Right here. This is what this is what the kids like. Spinach and cheese ravioli. Huh? I'm sorry baby. Sorry. How about if I buy you raviolis to make up for it? Get out of here. Yeah, they do liquor samples here at Mexican Costco. You didn't get any. No, I didn't get any. I feel like drinking tequila or scotch right now. But, I mean, normally I totally would. Samples of what? Samples of candy? Samples of what? M&M's? You got ice cream and a smoothie today, huh? How special ice cream and smoothie. Gosh, yes. We, um, we left Guadalajara. We were going to stay at the Pemex truck stop just before town or on the west end of town. And then what we decided to do was actually, since we still had some sunlight, we kept driving until this little town called La Barca, I think. It's like a farm town. It's like a farming community outside about 60 miles east, southeast of Guadalajara. It's on the way to where we want to be tomorrow. So we just cut our drive tomorrow morning by like 60 miles. So that was really good. We're waiting to see if it's okay. Security is supposed to be here at this Pemex truck stop gas station in like 10, 15 minutes. But I'm assuming it's going to be fine. There's trucks here parking overnight. You know, we don't, we're not taking up that much space. So, we should be good. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Long driving day today. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.